We are at Universal for an impromptu trip because we were looking at the wait times and they do not look very long at all. Um, and also, not sure why there's a bunch of cars honking up there, but we think there's a soft opening for Velocicoaster because it shows a 75 minute wait right now and Hagrid's is only like a 30 minute wait. So we're gonna go test and see on a Friday evening how busy it actually is. And also we're gonna go to Cowfish. We have never been there before and it sounded really good so we got us a reservation. So let's go check it out. That horn is still, go, oh, I think it's almost done. Um, but here's where the temperature checks used to be and they're no longer doing temperature checks to get into the park. I don't know if you can hear the announcement in the background, but it is only three foot distance apart now instead of six. So they now have that in the announcements. Both parks close at eight o'clock tonight, but here's some of the crowd level of the people leaving around 6.30. First stop is Universal Studios because Gringotts is only a 15 minute wait. So we're gonna go ride that first and then probably just head over to Islands of Adventure and see if we can get on Hagrid's and maybe even Velocicoaster. I think it shows Minions is a 45 minute wait. There's some times right there. Let's see if we can see. Shrek is 20. So, does not look that busy. And here's our first look at the Mardi Gras floats being gone. Here's a look at their new Summer Bites that I believe is opening up tomorrow, Saturday. Here's another Summer Bites food truck over here. Hogwarts Express is only a 25 minute wait. Oh. Here's the crowd level back here. Not too bad. I think Gringotts is still just a 15 minute wait. We're good, 15 minute wait. Awesome, I love this one. You can see the uh, pieces of tape are scooted in now too. It's like they're working overtime, getting ready to shut down for uh, the weekend. Looking forward to your weekend? Yeah. I mean, it's, it's probably gonna be a walk-on, I would say. It's now catching up to where some people are down there at the end, so. Again, probably gonna be maybe like a seven minute wait or so. So here's the wait to go up the stairs. It probably will end up taking about 15 minutes total, but still not that bad. Oh, that's always a fun ride. Now we're gonna head over to Islands of Adventure and it says Hagrid's is delayed right now, so I'm not sure what's going on there, but we might get on Velocicoaster. I don't really know yet. Something else, they're not separating parties whenever you're riding on the attraction. Right, so yeah. Right next to yep, them. you're all on the same row, like they're not separating anybody. So makes it go a little quicker. That ride overall took about 20 minutes, I think. But again, not bad for a ride that normally has like a 120 minute wait. I think it's gonna be quicker for us to ride the Hogwarts Express over since it's gonna put us right over there close to Hagrid's and Velocicoaster. Um, we'll see what the wait time is. Hi. 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 35 minute. It's literally like 79 degrees and perfect. So we decided 
just to walk over there, get our exercise and enjoy the Florida outdoors. And plus 35 minutes is a little long because that's not even including the ride over there. And the park closes in less than an hour. Shows the mummy is a 35 minute wait. Not bad at all. Now the tribute store has changed and I believe the new one opens tomorrow. Again, it's Friday, May 7th, so May 8th, but it's a Jurassic World tribute store. We're gonna for sure have to come back and go to that because that looks awesome. Yeah, that's really cool. Shrek is a 15 minute wait. Last time we came, they had this walkway. Oh, and Minions is only 20. Coming from the other side, they had this walkway open. I'll put that uh, video up in the corner and in the description. But it's 7.28, closes at eight. We'll only have about 20 minutes when we get over to the other side. Don't know if we'll ride Velocicoaster or what, or maybe just look at it. We're kind of chickens when it comes to that stuff, but we'll just have to see how it goes. The journey continues. Well, if we make it quick enough, the journey will continue. Made it over to Islands of Adventure. Again, got about 30 minutes, so we'll see what we can make out of it. Our reservation tonight, which is kind of the focus of this video, is at 9.30, so we'll have plenty of time. From what I can tell right now, it doesn't look like Velocicoaster is running anymore for the night. So they, oh, nope, I just saw it. Never mind. I take it back. It's still running. Guess where we're passing by? Cotton candy restrooms. Mm. Never gets old. It's not looking good for Hagrid's today. That's the second time we've come and something's been messed up with it. So looks like it might possibly said delayed. Not sure why. There's people waiting, so I wonder if wonder if they're testing something. I know I think I read one time somebody lost a like a hat or an article of clothing, like a shoe or something, and it was delayed, so I'm wondering if they're waiting for it to get back open since there was a line in front. But we'll see. The other Harry Potter rides only 15 minutes. Not bad at all. Ah, uh, never gets old. We will see if they are allowing more people to get on the Velocicoaster or if they're at capacity for today. Hey, they just announced Velocicoaster is open and open for a soft opening. And we're both terrified right now. We're not planning on actually riding it, but you know what? When you're in Florida <laughs> and you get off work and there's a new ride, you ride it. Now, since we're annual pass holders, we actually did have the early access, but unfortunately we weren't able to go that day. So we just, um, we released them, but okay, thanks. But little did we know that we'd be back so soon before June 10th to ride it. I'm sure you've already watched a thousand videos on what this queue looks like, but we're still gonna show it here. They said it is about a 75 minute wait, so afterwards we'll have enough time to get to our reservation and if you can tell all of these people in the queue it's like it's already june 10th and everybody's waiting to ride it curious to see how um, how fast this will actually go just an update on the uh, crowd queue level right now still a ways to go but we were thinking it's gonna be pretty dark by the time we get on it, so that's gonna be interesting. This is a very long queue, because look, you gotta go down that way, go back around, and then go where we came from, and then also go inside. So it's a very large queue. And I also saw a thing, don't quote me on it, but these two raptors that are facing each other, they are there kind of like as a symbol of the old dueling dragons ride because they had the two dragons facing each other. So I read that somewhere. That's pretty cool. 
Right. Look at this peaceful view right here. We start seeing the lights on it since it's getting dark outside. It's currently 8.15 and it looks like they aren't letting anybody else on the ride. That's, this is the end of the line. So we did squeak in right on time, but it's taken a little while, but still should be, still shouldn't be too much longer. I love their signage they've got over here, changing colors and stuff. It's been about 45 minutes and we're almost up to the covered queue up at the front. So 45 minute wait, almost up there. It's just been over an hour and we finally made it to where we came in. Well, almost. We came in right around that corner, so I'm getting pretty close. Alright, here's what it looks like at nighttime at the basically inside queue. Lights are really cool. Line's moving pretty pretty quick now. Got some ginormous fans in here. That'll be good for summer. It's a closer look at this here. Ready to enter the paddock with real live raptors. The name Velociraptor means swift thief. Not only are they fast, their bite is equivalent to a large American alligator. Wow, they're, they're not letting him talk right now. Here's what it looks like getting off the ride too, so. And you should come out. Oh yeah, they may not let us here, but. There's where you pick up your photo. And it should take you right into the gift shop here. I'm not sure if they'll, I'm sure they'll keep it open though since people are gonna be passing through, but. But the park is, has been closed for a while now. So yeah, the gift shop was closed. There's the entrance again, all lit up at night. Here are these, here are these two raptors that I mentioned earlier, a tribute to the dueling dragons that used to be here facing each other. And just like that, we got to ride it today. Thank you. What's crazy is, little did I know when I woke up this morning, I'd be at Universal riding the Velocicoaster and in the park an hour after it closed. Okay, now that we're off of it, as we're walking out, give you our thoughts. 
one for me i was terrified you were terrified and it really wasn't bad we thought it was going to be a lot worse than what it really was as far as like i was nervous for the drop because i know usually you know it makes your stomach feel like like it's in your mouth yeah and um, i didn't get that feeling at all no and neither did i when you get to the top of the top hat and all of a sudden you go down you're just waiting for your stomach to just eat your face off and you don't feel it at all and i don't know if it's because it's inverted a little bit yeah and i don't know if it's because we wrote it at night we'll have to write it during the day but it went so fast and it really was not scary at all in fact when you hit those speed things it was great I loved it. Yeah, it was fun. We couldn't really see the detail put in like with the raptors and stuff because it is nighttime. And since it was our first time, we were just kind of like, well, what's going on? But initially we both were scared to ride it. And honestly, not bad at all. Again, we for sure, again. yeah. The line went pretty quick. It's what, what time is it? Like 9.05? I think we got in line at like 8. 45, 7.45. 7 yeah. yeah, so they were pretty accurate with the 75 minutes. It really didn't feel like it was 75 minutes but but it wasn't hot it wasn't hot it was it was literally it's a fun ride now everybody's compared the ride with Hagrid's and the thing is they're both great rides I don't know if one's necessarily better than the other they both have their cool little things about them I'm sure if you're more of a Harry Potter fan you'll like Hagrid's if you're more of a Jurassic Park slash Jurassic World fan you'll probably like that one if you're more into like a thrilling ride You'll like that one if you're more into just a a storyline story kind of chill ride. You'll like Hagrid's, but I, both of them. I like Hagrid's better. So. Yeah, I think personally I do too, just because well, one we're huge Harry Potter fans, and two, I just I, I don't know. It's just I love the ride, but I'm not saying this one's not good. This one was a really good ride. I really really enjoyed it, and we will be back on it. Right yep. now, we've got about 20 minutes till our reservation at Cowfish. So by the time we exit, we should be able to sit down and eat. Here's that dinosaur over here. That looks pretty, pretty intense. And this is what the park looks like when it's been closed for an hour. Now something else I want to bring up about the ride is she's wearing sandals and we were kind of worried like what happens to the sandals, but she didn't have an issue, did you? No. at all with them it's not like one of those rides where like um hogwarts where your feet hang down and there's no base there's a base to it so it wasn't an issue yeah, and you can essentially apply pressure yeah and keep them on and you cannot um wear your fanny pack or That's anything right, like yeah. that on the ride everything everything has to go into the um lockers where typically you can wear a fanny pack on the ride and it not be an issue yeah, literally the only thing they said to have is your ticket or your annual pass because everything else will go in your locker. Just another view of everyone leaving from the Velocicoaster. It's so cool walking in here at nighttime. And nobody in here. Seeing the Christmas store with the Christmas lights really gets me excited for the holidays. Christmas time in the theme parks. What, there's only like, what is it? May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, seven months. And even more like six or five months until we start seeing everything in the theme park, holiday themed. Now the real reason for this video was for the cowfish. We're gonna do a review on that one, but it just so happens we got to do the Velocicoaster also. So two good things in one video. So hey, if you like this video, go ahead and subscribe, give it a thumbs up, and leave a comment down below. But we are gonna do a review with on the cowfish. So let's go check it out. One reason why I wanted to try it was the Crab Rangoon dip that they have here. And of course we both really like sushi, so, and we were able to get a reservation. Okay, so we checked in and then they said they would text us when our table's ready and it's already ready. That took like maybe two minutes. And now it says to go in up the stairs to the second floor and check in with the host. There's an elevator there, but she said we could take the stairs. So 
we're just gonna take the stairs. Sorry, it's dark. And now that we made it to the top, we check in right here. So you can sit outside, but we just chose the first available, and this is what it looks like inside. Yeah, it's so smart. It's great. And it looks like they've just got the uh, virtual menus. So I won't be able to show you the full menu, but I'll show you what we will, uh, what we order. So I totally could be wrong, but I believe I saw a fish swimming in here. So it's an aquarium. And I believe there's a cowfish right there. I don't know if you can see swimming in there. Not that one. The other one, where are you? Oh, there, up top. So for drinks, I got the Ruby Panther, which I'll put the description in right now. And she got the Bourbon Smash, which I'll put in the description right now. So the first thing we ordered is the Crab Rangoon Dip, and everybody has said that it's amazing, and it looks amazing. Like our waiter said, like, who wouldn't like Crab Rangoon Dip? How is it? Good? All right, now I'm gonna try it here. That is, that is heavenly. That is good. Take the inside of a crab rangoon. Like a, yeah, a deconstructed crab rangoon. So good, definitely come here, get that. And this is um, sweet and sour sauce on top too. So literally amazing. I would order it every single time I come. And here's our sushi. It's the Dion's roll. And I'll go ahead and put that description down at the bottom as well. But wow, there's nine, nine-ish pieces there. So looks pretty good. Is it good? Oh yeah, and we got a side eel sauce too. All right, Let's see if I can get it now. Very fresh. If you like, um, if you like sushi. That's good sushi. <laughs> if you like this sushi, you're gonna like this sushi. Also, if you want to know of another good sushi place, I'll put the video in the corner and the link in the description of another good place that we have eaten at. And since we're just having a heck of a night riding all the rides and eating great food, and thanks to everybody, we also passed 200 subscribers. I know that's not a lot, but hey, it's a start. We got this cheesecake that has fortune cookie crust, and I'll put that description in the video also. All right. Oh, right away. Once it hits your lip. It reminds me of the Yeah. Blueberry cheesecake. Blueberry cheesecake at um, Avatar, Pandora, at Disney. That, it does remind me of that too. Very good though. Mm -hmm. And then we got our fortune from our fortune cookie. How about another fortune? I'm kidding. Oh, I can, hold on. Don't wrong with it. That's not, it says look for another fortune, or how about another fortune? Oh. <laughs> Our fortune is look to your inner being for guidance. All right. Be the Holy Spirit. <laughs> That's Speaking right. That is right. Amen. Now we pop out up here up top, take the escalator down, and head to the parking garage. Turn on the heated seats in the car. <laughs> Turn on the heated seats in the car because she's cold. It is like supposed to be 60 something tonight, so. All right, so that was our trip out to Universal. I wanted to say our waiter was Sean S. at the Cowfish. Excellent, if I had my own restaurant, he'd be hired. He was an amazing waiter. Um, but we loved the food, the food was great. It didn't take very long either. Uh, just went online to Universal site and got a reservation. And uh, got to ride a Velocicoaster tonight, that was, that was good. We were going to ride Hagrid's and it was down, so we got to ride the new one. 
both liked it. It was really fun ride. We will definitely be back to ride it during daytime. June 10th, yep. Um, but we're gonna have to ride it in the daytime for sure. And other than that, the waits on a Friday night weren't that bad. We got to hop on Green Gots, which is usually a real, yeah, more than that, even 100 minutes sometime. And had we had a little bit more time, we could have rode several other rides. But all in all, fantastic day, a great night at Universal, and can't wait to come back. So that does it for tonight. Thanks for watching.